my Zara package. So hips, the waist part fits great, right? Today is Saturday, and as you see, I am babysitting for a friend of mine, and these are the cutest kids I've ever seen in my life. So I was like, literally, please bring them to me right now. Um, and I've literally been just like consuming them like it's nobody's business. Um, I just want to show you how cute these kids are. But today, I am so excited because I got a Zara haul in. I don't know if I'm going to be filming that much because honestly, mom that you're a mother like somebody needs to give you an award because trying to do anything outside of taking care of a child has been so hard the house is like a hot mess but what's wrong you hurt your hand yeah i got it the picture uh, this is a video well, how you call it a video you know what a video is yeah it's where you can kind of talk to the camera Oh, how can I talk to come What? You can say, hi, how are you? Hi, how are you, camera? How are you, camera? Be like, look how cute I am. Anyways, yesterday, um, Miles was here, and <laughs> yesterday was Friday, so I was working, so he was with them all day, and today he has to work, because um, he has chip stuff to do on a Saturday. So, since he's gone, it's me and the kiddos, which I'm like, oh my god, what do you do with kids? <laughs> I don't know, take them to the park. So we're going to go to the park today. I'm probably going to take them and like get all their energy out. But outside of that, I did want to do a Zara haul. And I'll do that while they're napping, you know? That's one thing I do love. But then low-key, I'm like, I want to nap too. <laughs> they nap when I nap. So I know, we'll see. Um, Miles keeps telling me, he's like, um, there's only room for two babies right now. And I'm not one of them. So I have a big pot of coffee. <laughs> I'm really excited to do the Zara haul and to just go out and about and be outside and to see how I do, honestly. This is the first time I'm alone with two kids. Um, <laughs> it's the first time I'm alone with even one. But the little baby is really easy and um, Lila is just so sweet. She listens so well. All right, I want to take a quick second to tell you guys about some of the products that I've been using, not for any sponsorship or anything like that, but just because um, I feel like during the summertime, I try my best to get super lightweight items or super lightweight makeup products that don't make my face feel too heavy because already, as you see, I'm putting pounds of sunscreen on. I do also want to get foundations and any kind of base products that have SPF in it. And so that's already going to feel a little bit heavier on my face. So something I've been doing a lot is just putting on on the bare minimum for makeup and I didn't realize it today but I put way too much contour on and that forced me to kind of overcompensate in other areas but this is going to be the worst um, explanation of uh, makeup doing of all time because I'm not a makeup artist this is just what I found super easy and lightweight for me I put on my bronzer and my concealer and then just kind of blend it out with my foundation I found that that's the best way for me to use um, the least amount of makeup without feeling like it's all packed on because normally you would put on your foundation and then on top of that you put on your concealer and then your whatever and then you put your powder you know it's just like so many layers that it can feel kind of cakey and then once you start sweating it starts to separate so i found that doing this way allows me to just kind of get the coverage i want without having to do too much work and it kind of still looks simple and you know just like very gradual my face has been breaking out like crazy so this is just what's been working for me a little bit right now so it doesn't feel too heavy and crazy all right i have a quick second to get changed because the little one is asleep and layla is watching tv and playing toys downstairs which Already, I'm like, oh my god, can they be left alone in a room? I don't know, I'm scared. So I'm trying to hurry up, but we're gonna go to the supermarket because Layla's been dying to go to the supermarket, which I'm like, 
I wish I had that much enthusiasm to go grocery shopping, so I might take her to Target. <laughs> See how wild she gets in there. Maybe buy her a toy or two, you know, um, appeasement. All right, this is the outfit for today. Just wearing my shorts because it's hot outside and in my bodysuit. And I might throw on um, a big shirt on top just because if we're gonna be in the car or at Target, it might get cold. So, and let me grab a jacket for them too, I guess. And then we're gonna go to brunch. Well guys, I made a very rookie mistake. I made a very, very rookie mistake. Um, we went to go get lunch with a friend of mine and her baby, so cute. Both the babies are around the same age, so we thought it would be fun. However, it was nap time. Why did I take the babies out during nap time? I should have known better because they basically were like, girl, get me out of here. And so as soon as I put them in the car, they were both like knocked out. <laughs> and I learned a big lesson. Let the babies take a nap and then take them out. Don't take them out before taking a nap. But I did get my Zara package. So the babies are currently napping right now and they're both asleep. So I figured I would do a little Zara haul. <laughs> So let's do it. All right, like I said, I have my Zara package here. Also, if you're new here and you're just here for the Zara haul, hi. Oh, welcome to my channel. My name is Haywan and I do a lot of fashion and lifestyle videos and sometimes I like to mix the two, which is what this is. And so this is our little Zara haul. I wanted to get a lot of summer dresses because I'm realizing that I have a lot of cute outfits, like kind of the one I have, like I have, I like pairing cute tops in a, some shorts and some jeans or some a skirt or whatever and I like curating outfits but sometimes I just want an easy dress like a quick and easy summer dress so this time I want to shop for a few more dresses and like easier outfits um, for the summertime and Zara has some really cute summer dresses so I thought I'd try them on so the first one that I got is your like quintessential summer staple which is this one right here it is like a crochet pink and yellow um it's like a midi dress so it's not short um but it's not all the way maxi down to your feet it hits me right on my calf and i'm five foot seven so if you're like five four maybe even five foot one or something like that i think this will fit you like a maxi dress i got this in a size us medium i honestly could have gone a size smaller because it was a little bit wider on my waist um however honestly and truly i could have actually i like the way it fits i like that it's a little bit looser this is perfect and it can definitely be cute for bikini however like it's tightly stitched so you can see like i'm putting my hand behind it and you really can't see through it and i'm going to show you guys in the try on haul how well it is i'm wearing um a little skims um not bodysuit i'm wearing my skims bralette underneath it and you can't even tell i think this looks so cute with a little converse moment if you're just trying to be like out and about and just chuck on a nice and like breezy dress that's not gonna make you hot but i also think this could be really cute if you dress it up with um a pair of like white heels or even a pop of pink heels and put a belt on top of it or even like i mean you guys know if you're going with the dress we're going pretty simple so I think this looks really, really cute, um, and I love this dress. I'm definitely gonna keep this one. The next dress that I got is one that I was really influenced by on TikTok. I get a lot of TikTok influences. However, I was a little bit disappointed, um, not because of the quality of the dress, even though a lot of people on TikTok were saying that the quality is bad. I think it's fine. Honestly, it feels like typical Zara quality, and the color is magnificent. Well, hold on, let me show you guys. Color is just, Stunning. Um, the way that the bra part or like the boob part of this dress is made is very much like Bridgerton style where it like it's almost like a half boob cut. However, I did not like that at all. It leaves no room whatsoever for um, like for the bigger girls and it cuts you kind of halfway and it's a bit tight right at the boob side. So it, it has like a weird it, it gives you a weird boob illusion to be honest with you so if you're somebody that's like even smaller chested than me and i got a small chest um so if you're like an a cup <laughs> this is the perfect dress for you i got this dress in a size us small and maybe i should have gone a size bigger so i'm usually a size small in dresses so if you're trying to get this dress i would say maybe size up because it definitely definitely runs small 
um, but it's really cute and it does have adjustable straps if you want it to be um, longer or shorter and the back of it is really beautiful I just the color is literally one of the most beautiful colors for the springtime And if you wear this even with like a pop of deep blue and wearing it with like color blocking um, Colors, I think it looks so beautiful so stunning. It's a silk material Everybody was raving about the white longer version of this dress but the longer version seemed really basic to me it literally just looked like a basic silk dress whereas this shorter one with a pop of color i think it looks a little bit different so i do like that this next dress i think is so stinking cute and is made of the absolute best quality it is so thick like that's the thing with zara sometimes with zara you can find items that are like this it, it literally feels like Forever 21 or something you get from Shein and you're pissed off that you bought something that feels like Shein at a Zara price and then sometimes you score gems and I think this is an uncut gem it is so stunning the straps are so thick and the actual dress like the inside the seam of the dress has the rubber no slip seal which I love that so much. I freaking love that. So this dress is designed for you not to have to wear a bra with it, which I love. I think it looks so good. And it actually feels like it would support some, like support you. And the stretchy band, which makes it a little bit easier to adjust. Beautiful. Love this print. I think this is such a, like a play on that cottage core print. I think it looks so beautiful. Um, this whole entire dress, dress is giving cottage core, don't you think? I, I saw it in Vogue that that's like a big trend that's coming in this summer is cottage core. And I feel like it's going to be really, really big in um, the fall months when you can actually be outside and the changing of the leaves. So I think that's going to be really pretty. Um, and it has a cute slit that's not too high not too short um but yeah this one is stunning i love it so much i feel like the back could have been giving a little bit more um but i think i'm definitely gonna keep it because this is what i think of when i think of a summer dress this is what i think of i think this is perfect i got this dress also in a size small so do you get what i mean like this is a size small this is a size small i don't know um i also did order this online so that's why i do like shopping at zara in store even though you don't get the same items that you would find online, Zara in store, you can actually try it on. The lighting is kind of moving around a little bit. Um, the last and final item that I got from Zara is these white cargo pants and they're this silk material. How stinking cool is this? I actually haven't tried this one on yet. So I'm just gonna go show you guys the try on portion and also give my commentary because I haven't tried it on. I don't know what the fit feels like, but um, I'll give you guys my feedback in the try on portion but really quickly i got this in a size medium and it is this satin pair of cargo pants they're supposed to sit lower on your waist kind of like a low rise pant trend so i don't know let's see let's try this on and see how well it fits okay so these are the cargo pants on a few things i'm noticing for one they're way too short like i know i'm wearing my platform converse right now but they you should never have these are like ankle risers they should not be at ankle length. So I feel like that's just an immediate no. I hate it when pants are this short. And then two, I love the feeling and the satin. Um, I like how it's built. Maybe I should go like a size up, but the backside is doing that thing that Sarah pants do. <laughs> and also it is very, very, very sheer. Like more sheer than I'm comfortable with. More sheer than anybody should be comfortable with. And if you're wearing white pants or like, you know, yeah, white pants. Chances are, like, I'm really not trying to go commando. I'm sorry, but that's just not the move right now. And yeah, I understand that these are supposed to be low-rise pants, but even if I pull them all the way down, like literally hanging on by a thread on my hips, the waist part fits great, right? Like less of a gap over here. And then two is still really short. So if you're five, if you're anything above five six, this is just not it. It's just not the move, um, lengthwise. But I mean, they're very cool. <laughs> if you're a shorter girl, these are a very cool pair of pants. I actually, honestly, I thought they were much more see-through. But I'm wearing my um, bodysuit, and you can't see it. So maybe they're not as bad as I thought. So yeah, shorter girls, go for it. Taller girls, um, the search continues for the perfect pair of pants because these are just not. You know, they're getting dweeby. <laughs>
All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I am watching the world's cutest kids and I'm getting a lot of mom practice. I'm learning how to be an adult um, in this house and how to take care of somebody outside of myself, which, you know, I even struggle taking care of myself, which is so interesting. So, and I never really grew up with having a lot of um, younger siblings. I've never had to take care of other babies. So I feel like this is such a learning experience. And honestly, these are, they're perfect little kids. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.